guys. Hope you guys are doing good. Welcome to your weekly love reading for August 22nd to the 31st. So the way this works, guys, for anybody new to my channel, hello. Um, I always go over my meditative session, which is regarding the energy I, I sense in and around you. And then I go ahead and do the tarot reading, okay? So let's go over your meditative session first, Leos. And then we'll do the tarot reading, like I said. Your energy is very serious. <laughs> very, very serious. By the way, happy birthday to any uh, Leo Virgo cuspers out there. Uh, very serious. But your heart is showing. Your heart is shining. Your heart is very transparent right now. Um, but like I said, it's it's shining. There, it's very bright. It's very pure. Someone sees this. Someone sees this. Many people see this. Many people see this. Some are taking more notice than others. And it's it's almost blinding to some. To be honest, it's almost blinding to some. Uh, there is an energy around you, Leo. Where someone feels kind of crippled. I don't know what that's about. I'm seeing a cane. Um, where someone feels crippled. It could it's something about your energy. Um, your energy is so strong right now, and especially the energy coming from your heart space, that it's it's making uh, some people just like <laughs> almost just like kind of crumble under the weight of it. it. It almost feels very regal. I'm getting a lot of royal kind of energy about you, Leo. There's something very royal, very regal about you right now. And you are kind of standing with your head up high. You're in that very prideful Leo energy, but it doesn't feel shadowy pride. It feels like very healthy pride, very captivating pride, undeniable pride, demanding respect. That's what that is. Demanding the respect. You're demanding the respect you deserve. And everyone can see your heart. It's like, it's almost just like, like you just ripped open your chest and it's just like a bright light. That's actually what I'm seeing. I'm actually seeing a lion just like with a light shining out of its chest. Um, yeah, undeniable, undeniable. And it, it's really harboring respect. Um, and you're, you, you can sense that, you can sense that. But just like royalty, it's like, you don't even have to say anything. This, this is very similar energy that I've been sensing with you, Leo, for like the last maybe oh something about two maybe two weeks two months i know i've sensed this energy with you before like this quiet regalness this quiet captivating demand of respect your heart is very transparent it's very pure and it says a lot about you it says a lot about your character and everyone can see it now everyone can see it and like i said it's blinding some it's blinding some but there's a sense of royalty about it and the sense of like you don't answer to anybody like you see how serious I just said that? Like that's how your energy is coming across. You don't answer to anybody. You don't answer to anybody for shit. Because you're just that you just don't have to. <laughs> Leo's, you just don't have to. But I do feel um energies around you that are a little overwhelmed by your energy. So just keep that in mind that there might be some people very intimidated by you right now. Um Others are pining after you because it's like you are demanding so much respect and that you you do have such a pure, compassionate heart that it's just like, who wouldn't want you, right? Who wouldn't want a partner like that? Who wouldn't want someone in their life like that? It's very awesome, Leo. I really, really like it. And honestly, it's so overwhelming that I'm not even sensing anything else of what's going on in your life right now. It's just, you just have this quiet, prideful regalness, regalness about you. And it's demanding a hell of a lot of respect. And it's catching a lot of attention. And for some people in your life, it's crippling. It's blinding. It's it's too intense for them to be around because they're just not up to that. I don't want to say up to your level, but that's kind of how it feels. That's kind of how it feels, Leo. Especially for those who did you wrong, they really can't look at you. Like for those who've done you wrong, Leo, they cannot even look at you in the eye. Wow. That's powerful. That's powerful, Leo. Um, so let's go ahead and get into this tarot reading. Um, so by the way, I've seen some comments recently, so I guess I got to go back to my old intro. <laughs> I did a video, so I wouldn't have to do that long ass intro. I'm not going to do it as long as like I normally do. So I'm just still going to keep it short. Um, but for anybody who's new to tarot or even people who have like kind of, you know, need a little bit of a refresher, these can be read vice versa. <laughs> if it resonates with you and it's just roles are reversed, it's still resonating. Um, <laughs> I saw a comment basically where someone was like, we give thumbs down when it doesn't resonate or if it's reverse. And it's like, well, if it's reverse, doesn't that mean it resonated? Why would you thumbs, thumb down the video? Anyway, so I'm just saying, I think people misunderstand what the thumb down button is actually for. Okay. <laughs> um, so it can be reversed because energy is fluid. It's not linear. It's not linear. It's about the energy exchange between you and people around you, right? So just keep that in mind, guys. Also, gender doesn't matter. 
I totally hung up on the gender of the cards. Gender does not matter. We all have masculine and feminine energy, and we all use it at different times, including zodiac signs. So I'm calling zodiac. If I'm calling out zodiac signs, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's about what that person's sign is. It's about the energy they're harnessing. Okay, but that's why I call it out because it's energy they're harnessing, and I just think it's important to know. All right, just think it's important to know. Also, keep in mind that this is not for everyone, guys. This is a general reading, and messages come through for those who really need to hear them. All right, so sometimes that's not going to be you. Sorry, just is what it is. Sometimes it's not going to be you. Sometimes it's going to be the person 50 miles from you. Sometimes it's going to be the person that resonated with it like a month ago um, because there's just something they need to hear, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. If you're not liking the message you're getting, there are a lot of readers on YouTube that are fabulous. Please, by all means, check them out, okay? All right, Leos, let's get into this. Any messages for Leos regarding love august 22nd to the 31st they're showing me that cane again hold on a second they're showing me that cane again uh, and i'm still getting this crippling energy leo some of you this person i feel like it's a person for some it's multiple people but it's it's so strong i do feel for a lot of you it's like one person this is not gonna be for everybody but some of you have this crippled person it's like they're crippling in in the glow of your heart it's like the craziest thing it's like in the glow of your heart the glow of your energy it's crippling to them um it's almost like this energy of they need you but they can't look at you this person needs you but they can't look at you they can't face you oh man now i'm feeling sad oh shit <laughs> Now I'm feeling sad. I, this this person just feels not worthy. This person doesn't feel worthy of your energy. They don't feel worthy of you. I feel like this is definitely someone that you probably had a romantic interest in or maybe an ex of yours. Could even be someone you were married to. But it feels like there is a very strong soul connection there. Yeah, it feels like there's a very strong soul connection there. But someone just is like, they just cannot face you. They just, they just cannot face you. They just cannot look at you. Um, their heart is hurting. They are sad, but this, this cane energy, I feel like you, you kind of were a pillar for this person and maybe they took that for granted. They probably took that for granted and didn't realize that it's like you were kind of holding them up a little bit. Um, cause I, oh, I just saw the 10 of swords. Yeah. I just saw the 10 of swords. Yeah. I feel like there was kind of an ending here between you and this person, but it's like they're, they're crippling under the weight of your light. It's not even weight. It's just like the brightness of your light. It's so fascinating. Anyway, any messages for my lions regarding love? August 22nd to the 31st. Any messages for my lions regarding love? August 22nd to the 31st. Now I'm getting a roaming energy. What is this about? So you guys could be traveling. So it's like market. It's very animalistic. Very animalistic. All of a sudden I felt it. It's like a pacing, a marking mind. It's like... Oof, something feels very territorial, all of us, territorial, territorial, <laughs> territorial. Um, Leos, you could be very territorial about your own shit right now. Oh, focus. You could be very territorial about your own shit right now. Someone could be feeling territorial about you. Someone is feeling territorial, just straight up. Any messages from my Leos? Any messages for my Leos regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st? I get multiple messages for different people, guys, so please only take what resonates with you. I read for a lot of people. Any messages for Leos regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st? Any messages for Leos regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st? Oof. Oh. I heard betrayed the heart. Oh, shit. Betray. Oh, now I just. <laughs> Sorry, I got all kinds of messages. I just heard betrayed the heart. And then I heard that song. Someone left the cake out in the rain. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's a throwback. Uh, look that up if you have no idea what song I'm talking about. It's actually a very interesting song. I think it's from the 80s. I forget who sings it. But anyway, magician in reverse, mercurial energy. So Virgo Gemini could also be Aquarius Scorpio. For me as a reader, divine masculine energy with the ace of cups in reverse. Oh my God. Like, I, I honestly, I feel betrayed the heart. Betrayed the heart. I, I don't think this is your energy, Leo. I think this is someone you're dealing with. It could be that crippled person or that territorial, territorial, territorial person. Um, I feel like those two energies are so different, but for some of you, they could be one and the same. So keep that in mind, okay? And by one and the same, I mean, they could have been territorial with you at one point. 
and they could be transitioning to that crippling energy. They're just so different. I like, I would not be surprised if it's a Gemini, but anyway, let me, let me continue. Yeah. I feel like this is another energy, Leo. This is not your energy. Someone feels like they betrayed love. They betrayed love. I, I, like it's so strong. That's like all they're giving me. They betrayed love. Wow. It feels really heavy. It feels like a very heavy energy. I would not be surprised if we get the Nine of Swords or Ten of Swords out here. Any other messages for my Leos? Jesus. Nine of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. Drama. Drama, drama, drama. Um, spilling of words. I just heard spilling of words. Spilling of words and lies. What the hell? Spilling of words and lies. I feel like this is a past energy that you've shared with this person. There might've been a lot of drama. There might've been a lot of fighting. There might've been a lot of lies. Um, but whatever it was, it was betraying love. At the end of the day, it was betraying love, but it's one cup. I feel like this person was betraying their own love for you. Cause I, I mean, yeah, in, in doing so, it can betray a connection, but it feels like solo. Not like solo cup. Ha -ha. Um, <laughs> sorry, bad joke, bad joke. Um, it, it just feels like one person's love. One person's love. It doesn't feel like the, connect, the connection. It feels like betrayal of like one heart. Of one love. With spilling of words, spilling of lies and drama. Wow. Any other messages? Ooh, there's a lot of cards. Let's see what we got here. Wow, look at this. Queen of Wands, Aries energy. Could also be fire or water with the King of Pentacles, Taurian energy. Could also be earth or air. And then we end with, oh, Jesus. Temperance in reverse, Sagittarian energy. Death in reverse, rebirth, rebirth, rebirth. <clears throat> they just told me rebirth. Scorpionic energy, Six of Wands, Jupiter and Leo energy. And I just heard rise. What's with all this royal energy? Rise, please, and stand. <laughs> Leo's oh you Leo's you'd have to be like that Leo this is definitely your energy you like it's very phoenix like you could have Scorpio on your chart you could be dealing with Scorpio it's very phoenix like it's um yeah it's like you rose you you were reborn in this like regalness and you're feeling very victorious about it like I said it's like you're held up high and people are taking notice that is the six of wands energy and you're feeling very on top of shit very royal very regal about it it's it's quite fascinating you've risen Leo, you've risen above it. You've risen above whatever this was, whatever that was. Very unapologetically. Like a phoenix, very unapologetically. And now, this person, I feel like this Knight of Wands, Swords in Reverse is this King of Pentacles. Um, this King of Pentacles looks at you as a Queen of Wands energy. Very attractive, very strong very strong, very alpha. I actually just saw a female lion. Um, which, you know, lions are so fascinating. I like, I talk about lions, I feel like in every single Leo video, it's like, it just comes out. Like spirit just knows that's how you guys like to communicate about, about Leo energy. Um, but female lions are no joke, man. Like they are no joke. They do a lot of work. They do a lot of work and they do have to be very strong. I, so random. Sorry, I'm going on a little tangent, but I think you guys will appreciate this. I came across an article I forget like what blog posted it, but it was an article basically about like, um, I shouldn't laugh, but it's it's just karmic. It's very, it's a very karmic kind of a story where about um, rhino poachers in a game sanctuary where they shouldn't be, right, obviously. And a lion basically ate them. A female lion basically ate them as they were trying to poach animals they, that they had no business poaching. But anyway, neither here nor there. Very, very strong. You're, they're looking at you very, very strong, very alpha. Again, very regal. Just very regal. Like, you don't answer to anybody. And you're not even saying anything. It's like, look, does this look like a queen who talks? Does this look like a queen who has to answer to anybody? Oh, wait, focus. Or who exp explains herself? No. No, you don't. You don't. You don't have to. You don't need to. And it's commanding respect. And I feel like this person is like, is trying to level up their game because of that. I don't feel like they're really a king of pentacles. I gotta be honest. I really don't feel like that. I feel like they're more like this. I feel like this is who they really are. Someone who's very out of control. 
Oh yeah, someone who's very out of control. They're not grounded like this, but this is someone you need. That's what this is, Leo. You're commanding respect to have this kind of a partner. Some of you might even be saying it, but I feel like you guys aren't saying much. Um, if you're saying it, you are saying that. It's like, this is my standard. This is what I expect. And that's what I'm going to get. And that's what you're going to give me. And if you're not giving that to me, I'm out. I'm not accepting anything less than a king of pentacles. Like, that's how you guys feel right now. I'm not accepting anything less than someone who is up to my standard, who is grounded, who is rational. Calm. Calm is coming in. I'm like, I'm not surprised because this energy feels very chaotic. It feels very, very chaotic. I, I really feel like you guys don't even have to say it. It's just obvious. It's just obvious that it's like, why would I accept anything less than this? Than someone who's going to protect Someone who's gonna be, who's gonna provide. Someone who's very healthy and balanced and calm, and who respects. Something about respect here. I feel like you, you feel like this. <laughs> I feel you feel. Uh, this person didn't respect you. This person did not respect you. Overall, we have wow, Eight of Swords, Gemini energy. Leo's, you're not trapped. Let me let me make that very clear. You are not trapped here. It's this other person's energy. Yeah, it's this other person's energy. They're afraid. It's that like. It's funny because I was like nine or the 10, we got the eight. I would still wouldn't be surprised if it comes out. It's like that crippled energy of like, I can't look at you. Look at you, look at that. I can't look at you. I can't face you because they're blinded. Look at, look at all that fire because your light of your heart is just too damn bright. And there's a sense of shame about it. There is a sense of shame about it, okay? So I'm really curious about this energy, this Magician Universe, the Ace of Cups Universe. Let's look at the Ace of Cups Universe because I'm getting that betraying the heart, betraying one love. There's something about one love here. Uh, I'm gonna use Rider Waite to clarify. Can we have the Ace of Cups in reverse? Can we have Ace of Cups in reverse? Can we have Ace of Cups in reverse for Leo? Regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Leo, some of you might actually already have your eye on someone else too. Yeah, some of you might already have your eye on someone else, someone who does fit this description because you weren't getting it. You weren't getting it from the person that um, you wanted it from, to be honest, that you wanted it from. You expected it from, they didn't deliver. Instead, you got this. Instead, you got a crazy-ass teenage energy, okay? <laughs> Chaotic teenage energy. Spilling of lies, spilling of words. Tell me about Ace of Cups in reverse. For Leo, regarding love. Tell me about Ace of Cups in reverse. For Leo, regarding love. August 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about this Ace of Cups in reverse. Very trickstery energy. Yeah, I just feel like this person, this person, very out of control, man. Very out of control. Let's see what we have here. Oh my. I was, even the energy off the cards kind of hit me in the face. Queen of Wands in reverse. Aries energy could also be fire or water. So now that you're strong, right? You Before you were in reverse with this person regarding this person. High Priestess, Piscean Energy, also Gemini for me as a reader. Wow, Page of Wands in reverse. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter Energy here. Leo, they, okay, they betrayed love. First of all, they betrayed love. Whatever that means, the one love thing, that's how they're giving it to me. So that's just how I'm going to give it back to you. That was their doing. That was their betrayal. Made you upset. That Queen of Wands in reverse, it made you really upset. It made you angry. Maybe even resentful, maybe even a little hateful. I gotta be honest, maybe even a little hateful. But then we have this high priestess and the page of swords, not page of swords, page of wands in reverse. You knew something here. You knew something was up. You knew that there was something hidden about this situation. You knew that you weren't getting the full truth about something. Page of wands in reverse tells me that you knew whatever it was, it wasn't good. You knew that whatever it was, it was really bad shit. It was bad news. It was not conducive to you. And I think once you came into acceptance of that, wheel of fortune, you moved on. You pushed it forward. Took you some time though. It definitely took you some time. It was not like overnight. Okay, it definitely took you some time here. Tell me more about the Ace of Cups in reverse for Leo. Yeah, in your core, you knew, man. In your core, you knew like they were hiding something really sneaky, snaky. Um, 
something that like was was just gonna break your heart even more and once you accepted that even if you never found out what it was you, you just accepted it and once you accepted it your wheel started to turn you moved on and became this like regal commanding full of captivating respect lioness <laughs> or lion for my males out there so i have an ace of cups in reverse Play the Ace of Cups in reverse for Leo regarding love. Interesting. So we got two other cards out here. Wow. Wow. Four of Wands, Aries energy, and Three of Cups, Cancerian energy. What did I say? Some of you might have already found someone else. <laughs> some, of you, some of you might have already found someone else. Um, why do I feel like this is a desire of this person, too? Leo's once you dipped, Wheel of Fortune turning forward, right? Once you dipped and became this, we'll just say Regal Queen or King, Regal Queen or King, because I know I got some men watching me. It's like this person wanted what they already had with you. It's like that Three of Cups with the Four of Wands. That's like major celebration. This uh, sometimes is also indicative of a wedding because that Three of Cups is about like partying, that celebration, that social aspect. Four of Wands is like foundational energy, right? A coming together of a foundation, a foundation who's what's starting. Very indicative of, of marriage or engagement, okay? That would have been very fast moving though. Um, but I feel like it is more of a desire of this person, this person trapped in fear who can't even look at you. So it's something that they want with you because it's like, it's, you know, tale as old as time. Don't appreciate shit till it's gone. Yeah, someone took you for granted here, Leo. Someone took you for granted. They betrayed love. They betrayed love with you. They took you for granted. Some of you already found someone else. But at the end of the day, that's what this person wants of you. They want to, they want some kind of reconciliation. They want some kind of celebratory foundation. Honestly, for some, they even want to put a ring on it. Once you're gone. Once you're gone. Overall energy. Yeah, see, I love it what I can call it, guys. Look at this. <laughs> Star in reverse, Aquarian energy, and Nine of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. This is the overall energy for the Ace of Cups in reverse. Overall energy for that betrayal of one love. Betrayal of the heart. The heart. Oh, yeah, Leo, Leo's, this thing about your heart, it's like being seen as very special. Like a golden heart. This person might have never come across someone with a heart like yours. They're probably, actually, I think this person's kind of used to more heartless people. But anyway, this is the overall energy. Star in reverse and Nine of Swords in reverse. Laid up at night, full of fear, man. Full of fear because they want to heal a situation with you. Yeah, Leo, it's like the second you put yourself first, and you level your stuff up because you have respect for yourself, this person realizes your worth because they see your heart now. They see your heart. They see you for who you are and the and the respect that you're, you're commanding. And it's just irresistible to them. Like I said, irresistible to them. Okay. Now let's look at this energy. This is you rising. Definitely this is you rising, having your phoenix moment, having your triumphant moment, getting a lot of attention as well, getting a hell of a lot of attention after going through a bit of a um, healing process and a change process. Temperance in reverse says that, you know, healing is needed, balancing is needed. You went through a death phase already, which allowed for that change to happen for you to rise to get to such a balanced place. Energy of six is balance and harmony and getting that attention because you're commanding it. You're commanding it. Let's look at the six of wands and then we'll pull some advice. Mm, gilded. Let's do gilded. Tell me about the six of wands. Tell me about the six of wands. For Leo. Tell me about the six of wands. Yeah, for those where there's like a new partner, some of you haven't met them yet, it's going to go really fast. Some of you where there's going to be someone new, it's just going to go so fast because it's literally like manifestation. You, I think some of you are definitely manifesting the person that you really do deserve and the person that's matching your energy and who fits the bill for you. Some of you definitely are. Once that happens, it's just going to take off. Man. Do I have a six of wands? Territorial. Thank you. Territorial Leo's careful here. For those where there's a new love interest on the horizon or you already have a new love interest and it's going really quickly because you two are just, it's just what you wanted. It's just what you manifested. 
they have a very Taurian energy about them. They might be very, very territorial with you. Keep in mind, you could also be dealing with an Aries Taurus cusper because we do have Aries and Taurus, Aries and Taurus, Aries and Taurus right here. Taurians can be very, very territorial, okay? So be mindful that if this person um, decides to approach you because it is all of a sudden you're gone and that's all that they want is you now that you're gone, um, keep it in mind there might be a little altercation here, okay? Talking about six of wands for Leo. Talking about six of wands for Leo. Regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Talking about six of wands for Leo. Regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Okay. Talking about six of wands. I just heard I'm on a whole new level. <laughs> Sorry. Some of you were thinking that. Some of you feel that way. And I, I agree with you. I definitely agree with you. So I have about six of wands for Leo. Regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Let's see here. Wow. Look at that. Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy, independence, confidence, and major strength. They're telling me major strength. Like I said, not all of you have a new person. Not all of you have a new person. Um, this person might come back again to try to masquerade as a King of Pentacles. I want to say masquerade because I personally, as the reader, am not fully convinced that they're up to this caliber, but some of you definitely already have a new person who fits this bill, okay? Others of you are still remaining single by the end of this, okay? But very confident, man. Oh my God, so confident. So confident, so abundant, and you don't even have to say it because it's just true. <laughs> You don't even have to say it. You don't got to shout it up from the mountaintops. It's obvious because your power is just that strong right now. Tell me about six of wands. Let's see here. Oh, interesting. Two of pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy and then five of pentacles, Taurian energy. Yeah, you're being watched, Leo, by a lot of people and definitely by this person who betrayed the one love, betrayed the heart. Again, that person I feel like just sees your heart as like, that's what a heart is supposed to be like. That's the heart, the golden heart, the number one heart. It's like, it's very much like putting on a pedestal a little bit. Also a little Taurian. Um, anyway, two of pentacles in a verse and the five of pentacles. I feel like this is that person's energy just watching you. And again, it's this energy of looking up, like pedestal-like, like looking up at you, looking up at you. They could feel very isolated. They could feel very alone in this. Um, I just heard rock bottom. I just heard rock bottom. They could be going through some financial issues and finding a lot of... Um, problems with gaining their footing here okay leos i also get that it was a bit of a struggle for you to go through this death process to go through this change and even for you you guys could probably could have felt like at one point you were hitting rock bottom but not now <laughs> definitely not now I'll tell me more about the six of wands because it, it was a rise it was definitely an ascent an ascent leo and like i said it's energy so all of you are in different places in this energy. So keep that in mind. We all work through energy differently, even if we're all working with the same energy. Tell me about Six of Wands for Leo. Tell me about Six of Wands for Leo. Regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Wow, Leo. <laughs> Look at you. Queen of Wands in reverse. Aries energy could also be fire or water. And the Six of Wands, again, Jupiter and Leo energy. You are being triumphant over this old you. Over this old you that wasn't grounded. Over this old you that was really hurt. That was really angry. That was really resentful. Being very victorious over that. Overall energy. Oh, very interesting. Strength in reverse. Leo energy. Like I said, I called strength. I did call it because you do have that strength. But where does true strength come from? Transparency. That's where tr true strength comes from. Transparency. And like I said, your chest is ripped open right now. Your heart is very obvious. It's very obvious. It's very clear the kind of person you are, the kind of heart that you have, what your standards are, what you're going to tolerate and not tolerate, and you don't even have to say it. That's why strength is in reverse here. This is someone who doesn't need to have that control because you're so secure with yourself. You don't need that control, Leo. Strength upright is about attaining strength, attaining confidence by curbing things about ourselves or curbing things about situations, right? To show power in a situation. You don't have to do that because you already have it. Make sense? Yeah. I like it. I really like it, Leos. Okay. Let's pull some advice. I'm a little overwhelmed even by your energy. It's like, it's, it's like, wow. 
Wow. <laughs> Quite the star power, Leos. Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Yeah, you're just really you're just really in a good spot right now, Leo. And like I said, some of you actually are like on fast track with a new relationship already. Some of you are. Any advice for my Leos? Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? I don't know why this is coming through, but they want me to emphasize that for those where you're like, there's a new person on the horizon, um, they're going to be very ethnically different. For those who haven't met a new person yet, but there's a new person coming in. You can feel it, by the way. You can definitely feel this new person coming in. Um, and that's because it's going to be a very intense connection. And for some of you, leading to something very, very long term. Okay, that's why you can sense this person coming. <laughs> Lunchy time. Um, that's why you can sense this person coming. Just keep in mind, I don't think they, they're going to look how you expect them to look. Okay. Okay. Any advice for my Leos? Regarding this spread. Oh, wow. I just heard money bags. <laughs> Leos, for those where you have this new person or new person on the horizon, they might be quite the provider. We'll just put it that way. Quite the provider. Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Because uh, that's why. Because you're coming across like true royalty. That's why. Like true royalty. So you're attracting people of that caliber. Wasp spirit, sometimes life stings, 64, cyclical energy. Yeah, you're definitely closing a major cycle here. And like I said, that death process was not easy. That little scorpionic change, transformation, rising phoenix moment, that was not an easy one. That was not easy for you, Leos. It was a little painful, but it's behind you now. It's behind you now. I don't think many of you are still in it, but if you are, just know that once you come out of it, you're going to be so leveled up and so strong. Any advice for my Leos? regarding this spread any other advice for my leos regarding this spread Oop. what do we have here wow <laughs> moth spirit surrender now 39 breaking down to a three and koala spirit spirit has a plan 35 breaking down to an eight i love koala spirit koala spirit is basically my blueprint card in this deck your destiny what you're supposed to do what you're supposed to learn surrendering to that that's the advice here it's interesting. I feel like it was more advice for the other person, for the crippling person, for the person who betrayed the heart, one love. It's so weird they're giving it to me like that. I think it's just going to resonate with some of you in a certain way. Maybe that's why they're giving it to me that way. But surrendering to the plan, surrendering to the blueprint, surrendering, surrendering to destiny. Leos, you've already done this. I really feel like that's for the other person. If you're having trouble surrendering, I oh, that's probably why. For those who are in that death process still, I think some of you are having trouble surrendering to it. Just surrender to it. It'll go a lot easier if you do. It sucks, I know, but just let yourself feel it, lions. Okay? Any other advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Any other advice? Ah! <laughs> I'll show you guys in a second. I'll show you guys in a second. Ooh, okay. Wow. Oh my God. These are the last two cards out. Nightingale spirit. Love is all around. 41 breaking down to a five and butterfly spirit. Transformation is beautiful. Yes, it is, Leo. With the energy of 11. What did I say? You've risen like a phoenix. Very scorpionic. Very scorpionic, which is like another sister fix sign for you. Um, but nightingale spirit, that usually comes out for me as a reader when there's a very significant like love interest at play or on the horizon and I already picked up on that for you guys because you've risen and you've transformed into something just regal they would keep wanting to give me regal royalty status we'll say royalty status my king and queens um because you've done that you are so attractive you're attracting so much attention and your heart is really showing and it's just undeniable in the person you are it's like even if someone were to talk shit about you everyone would be like are you smoking crack? You know what I mean? Because you don't, you're not hiding anything because you don't have to hide anything. That's the kind of strength you have right now. And someone is taking notice. Definitely some of you have got a new person and they're taking notice here, okay? Others, it is this past person who has their eyes on you. But Leo's, like I said, you're not accepting anything less than this. You refuse to. 
because it's what you deserve. You refuse to. So if this person doesn't do their shit to get to this status in a genuine way, you're not going to deal with them. You're just not. I know you are. Like, all I've got to think about, I know you're not. I know you're not. I know you're not, Leos. I know you're not. Will they come back changed? Mm. Mm. That's going to be dependent on your situation. I'm inclined to say no, to be honest with you. I'm inclined to say no. But everyone's in, your own, in their own situations. You're the masters of your own life. It's your decision at the end of the day. You know what's best for you. Okay? And overall, I love this card. Dove spirit, be peace. 21 breaking down to a three. And I love the card that's underneath it. Owl spirit. You see clearly now, 43 breaking down to a seven. I just got to pull one more because it's just too damn good. Look at that. Ant spirit, time to collaborate with the energy of one. Some of you, this is this new person. Some of you already have this new person. Couple of you, it might be this, this old person, but it's up to you to decide and use your intuition, right? Owl spirit. Use your intuition, divine intuition at that. With dove, dove spirit and owl spirit, these are two very, very divine heavy cards, okay? Having such clarity and calmness with, with your information that you're getting and being able to really see into people and see who's really genuine and who's not, you're going to know exactly who, who to collaborate with. And like I said, for some, there might even be a little bit of an altercation because this is a very territorial energy. And for those where this is a new person and this old person may come back, I don't want to be around to see that, to be honest with you. Um, might get ugly. But yeah, this is about collaborating. And I also love this card because look, they have the two crowns. Royalty. Oh, man. I love this, Leo. Oh. One love. One love. One little... What is that? Is that a nut? I don't know what that is. But <laughs> but one. That, like, they're bringing that to my, to my attention again. I don't know how I feel about that. But this is what they're telling me. Um, true love is one love. True love is one love. It's one connection. It's one shared, shared energy. And that is true love. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, but that's what they're telling me. Sometimes I argue with my guides, but that's what they're telling me. That is what one love is. It's true love because it's shared. It's equal. It's just one. It's one energy. Wow. Okay. That's interesting. I got to think about that one, but that's what they're telling me. Like I said, I feel a little weird about saying that, but that's what they're telling me to say. Why am I having such a hard time with this person? Sorry. I'm like, why am I struggling with that message? I don't have Leo in my chart. Why am I struggling with that message personally? Um, I get, okay. I guess this is why it bothers me. I feel like people can construe that to codependency, but no, it's not a codependency thing. It's an energy of love. It's not about one unit. It's not about one unit. It's not about two people are each other. It's not about that. It's one energy. Two people, very clearly, two different individual independent people with one shared energy. Ah, huh. okay. I can feel more comfortable with that anyway i'm getting lost in that so i'm gonna let you guys go i hope you guys enjoyed that don't forget to go on patreon check that out along with instagram facebook and twitter and i will see you guys later namaste leos